And the reason we are not in a better position, it's not because we didn't work hard last year, the year before, the year before that, the year before that. It's because 155 years after slavery, what they've done to us. And this is where white people say, oh, man, you're just complaining. You just you're always complaining. You know, look, I'm not complaining. Like I said. I'm just speaking facts. Some people don't like that truth. I talked about this before. Some people love a lie. They love a lot. See, everybody right now, they blaming all these other people for not getting a bigger stimulus check when in fact it was the Democrats who kept everybody from getting that $2,000. Why? Because they want to reach across the aisle. They want to be nice. They want to be congenial. The Republicans don't give a fuck. When they're ready to make a decision, they make a decision. They don't reach across shit. If they reach anywhere, they reach to wipe their ass and they throw it over to the Democrats. But the Democrats always want to reach across the aisle. We want to work with you. Republicans don't work with nobody. They work with themselves. They work with money. But no, the Democrats always want to link arms and be kumbaya. Don't nobody want to link arms with y'all no more. Joe Biden let 34 million black Americans down when he said, hey, you better get used to working with these Latinos because they're about to be more than you over here. And what he's talking about is that fast track into citizenship. Because once they get them all in and get them all ID'd and socialed up and everything, there will be more of them than there are American descendants of slavery, American descendants of freedmen. There will be more. There will be more than what we do. Then what we do, he said, you better get used to working for him. Yeah. Ain't no point of us thinking about working with them. We'll be working for them. If there's more of them, who do you think they're going to put in supervisory roles? Who do you think they're going to put in managerial roles? Hmm? If there's more of them, they'll put their people in positions of power so they can bring in more of their people. Thus, pushing you out. You're always going to be a bottom cast unless we get redress. You're going to be a bottom cast. It's not going to happen magically. It doesn't happen with a political party. It doesn't happen just because we keep voting in unison and getting nothing but a sticker. It happens with real policy. It happens with a full schedule of reparations. That's the only way. Something else I listened to, man. What else did I listen to? Oh, so it was kind of a rehash. You know, I dropped an interview I had with the newly elected 14B District Court Judge, Sister Arraine Washington from Ann Arbor, Michigan. You know, I think she starts next week, takes the bench, only the third black woman to ever be a judge in Washington County, still crazy to me, but it is. And we gotta protect her. We gotta protect people that serve us. I'm not just saying, Black politicians in general, because there's a lot of black politicians out there that ain't protecting us, that ain't serving us. And we we call in their ass, too. See, everybody seems to be just kind of waiting till the inauguration. Well, I know with local politics, we really don't have to wait till the 20th. But I figure we get everybody through the holidays, let everybody get going, do their thing, get all fat off the turkey and dressing and all that stuff. But then when they hit the ground running on Monday, we've got to be aligned. People in Michigan, I don't want to talk to you if you're not talking about doing something better for yourself. I don't want to talk. I don't want to deal with you. Why? Because I don't have to. I don't have to. I'm willing to work with people. And if I have to work with people that are out of state, I'm okay. I'll work with people that are out of state. I prefer to work in my village with people. But if everybody don't want to get together, that's okay. 
Because see, I know everybody gonna jump in line when things do start happening, when policy does start getting pushed through, when redress does start happening. I know everybody gonna get in line for that. Just like everybody's getting in line for these stimulus checks. But see, getting in line for a stimulus check, if you got the 12 and you're getting the six, you're going to take that $4 and 80 some odd cents a day. You're going to take that and struggle versus fight politically because there ain't no getting in the streets and fighting. I mean, all that shit, you know, blowing out windows and looting stores and all that. You, you, ain't, you ain't doing nothing but pleasing yourself momentarily, possibly getting arrested, most likely getting beat up. Reparations. I'm not running through a broken glass window so I can get me some fucking gym shoes. There's no redress there. There's no transformative wealth there. And if you're not talking about doing the right things by your people, I'm not talking to you. Your time's out for fuck shit. I don't need, I don't need to deal with it. And I realize a lot of you ain't going because you think you got something better planned, but you don't even have a plan B. Your plan A is shaky and you don't have a plan B. So I'm good with it. It's fucked up when you can talk to people. I, mean, I can talk to Caucasian people. They understand it. I can talk to Asian people. They understand it. Talk to, talk, talk to Jewish people. They understand it. But you talk to black people, they go, well, well, how would they do it, man? How would they give us this? Now, really? You want to ask me how the United States government is going to do it? The same way they gave you that fucking stimulus check. Same way they give tax refunds to people that just have kids. But when we start talking about policy and, and I mean, education. If a black child is qualified to go to a university in this country, they shouldn't pay. And we should have somebody fighting for that based on the premise that nobody other than black Americans in this country have ever been threatened and or been killed because of the ability to read. Show me another country where they've done that. Murdered you or you lived under the threat of violence if you learned how to read. That's mental oppression. That's physical oppression. That's spiritual oppression. Pass the bill. Qualify for college, you can go. Yeah. And then once you get in there, then you do your thing. Then you start qualifying for other stuff, you start doing your thing. See, I think about this because they wanna talk about canceling student loan debt. Well, less than one out of five black Americans has even been to college. So if you cancel student loan debt, okay. So 18 out of 100 people get their student loan debt canceled. How many out of that 18, let's say, graduated and are in a fruitful career that that degree pro produced? Hell, I know people with college degrees that work at the grocery store. And that ain't no disrespect. They managers. They fucking managers at the grocery store. Sam's Club, fucking college graduate, college, okay. So they trying to pay their student loans off working at Sam's Club. Okay, pay their student loans off, man. Better yet, find them a job that, that their degree works for. Because they can work the shit out of a forklift because they work at Sam's Club, but that's not what they went to school for. 